Hi, everybody. I hope this finds you doing well and in good health. Uh, we are in week three of our coronavirus closing, and I just wanted to take a minute to check in with everybody and to share some, some thoughts from my end. I want to start by expressing gratitude to the many members of this community who have sent us notes, letting us know what's going on in your daily lives uh, for our current parents, letting us know what your son's experience has been like through this distance learning program. Uh, keep them coming. We really enjoy them. I did want to share with you one story in particular that was sent my way. Uh, if you'll recall, a few weeks ago, we began live streaming an 11 a.m. daily mass. And I want to thank Father Bruce Steger for taking the lead on that. And I also want to thank the uh, Jesuits of the Jesuit community at Loyola University for making yourself available to our community in the way that you have. Um, in this one particular note that I received, this, this parent said, this is the first time that my family has ever been able to attend daily mass together. Um, and we're very excited to see Mr. Gotchel uh, there, who must be uh, her son's uh, sixth grade theology teacher. Um, and at one point during the mass, Mr. Gotchel began reading the prayer or reciting the prayer of generosity, which for most of our students is known as the prayer of St. Ignatius. And it was at that moment that her son, out loud and unprompted, began reciting the prayer uh, along with Mr. Gotchel. Uh, it was a consoling moment for her when she shared that story with me. It was an incredibly moving story uh, for me to receive. And I am so grateful uh, that I received that. And that story kept me going and continues to keep me going uh, through what can be some challenging times here. Um, I'd be remiss if I didn't take a moment to directly and emphatically thank our faculty. Uh, our faculty who have kept this learning going, although distantly, uh, who have continued to show their commitment to cura personalis, which is the Jesuit term for care for each individual. Uh, their care and concern and love and commitment to their students, I would argue, is unmatched by any teaching staff in the area. I'm so proud to call them my colleagues, uh, my friends, and the teachers uh, of my sons when they were here. Rest assured that these are people who are making our mission matter, uh, and they will continue to do, to do their part to ensure that all of our Dons have the best possible experience here at Loyola. Um, I know you are being pulled in many, many directions. I know that there are many distractions hitting you each and every day. I know that these are very challenging times for everyone. I'd invite you, though, to hit pause, if you could, for a moment, to pay attention to the little things, the rain, the wind, the rustling of leaves, and what may emerge is an unexpected joy that will stick with you and that will accompany you through these unprecedented and very challenging times. The great poet Mary Oliver has a poem entitled Invitation, which captures a moment when unexpected joy is found. And I'd like to share that poem with you. Invitation. Oh, do you have the time to linger for just a little while out of your very busy and very important day? For the goldfinches that have gathered in a field of thistles for a musical battle. To see who can sing the highest note or the lowest or the most expressive of mirth or the most tender. Their strong, blunt beaks drink the air as they strive melodiously, not for your sake, and not for mine, and not for the sake of winning, but for sheer delight and gratitude. Believe us, they say, it is a serious thing just to be alive on this fresh morning in the broken world. I beg of you, do not walk by without pausing to attend to this rather ridiculous performance. It could mean something. It could mean everything. It could be what Rilke meant when he wrote, you must change your life. So hit pause, take some time to reflect, take some time 
to enjoy the small things in life. We are in this together. Keep the faith. Roll Dons.